My name is Sergio Gomez. I graduated from Governor State University with my bachelor's in 1996, and then I received a Master of Arts in 1999. My experience at GSU was really outstanding. When I first came, I didn't know what to expect because it was a small university compared to where I came from. I was uh, first studying at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, which is pretty good, pretty big, downtown. And when I found out about Governor State through a friend of mine, uh, he said, you know, it's highly recommended. You will love the individual attention that you don't get in the big universities. And it was kind of hard to believe at the beginning. But uh, over time, I felt that it was like the perfect fit for who I was as a person and as an artist. You know, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do as an artist, uh, what my work was going to be like. And I needed that kind of uh, individualized uh, attention and somebody who would know me by name and remember who I was versus one of many students. And that was the thing for me what really made the big difference. Um, it made such a big difference. I remember the very first time that I came that I called another friend right away and I said, hey, you know, I'm at Governor State. I really liked it. Why don't you come also? And he also came and we both became kind of best friends throughout our whole program here at the Governor State University. It was really really a unique experience for me. I remember the first time I walked into the campus and feeling like, well, just like any time you walk into a new place, you know, not knowing anybody, not knowing where to go. Uh, the first thing I remember is that my professors took an interest on me right away. And that kind of made a huge difference for me um, from not understanding what to expect to all of a sudden, well, actually this, this is good. You know, there's people that do care of who I am and what I do. As an artist, uh, I found too that there was a, a nice community of people in the art department. So the professors here were not only professors, but they're also practicing artists, uh, exhibiting artists in, in Chicago and around. And so that was that was very you know very important for me as a, as a young artist. Uh, also found that in in the art department there was a nice community uh, of students not only from the region, but there were also other artists, uh, students that had come from other parts of the world. And that was pretty nice. It was kind of a like, mixed cultural experience that uh, I thought was really important. And just that sense of, of community and, and understanding that we were all here to grow, to learn, and we were here together. And I think that throughout all my years here at Governor State, that became one of the catalysts, I think, that made me who I am, you know, interested now in community and working with other people that you know, I had that experience here of, uh, of connecting uh, and just, just being part of that community. I remember, for example, um, pretty quickly coming in to the art department and taking painting classes and so forth, and I would just love to come to class and stay here all day until they shut the lights out and you know, we were kicked out of the school. And, and that was kind of a common practice just because we enjoy the, the community, the professors, the ambience, uh, and it was also a little bit far away from home in the sense that Governor State is not right in the city. So that kind of gives you a sense of separation. But at the same time, it's good because mentally you need that to focus on what you need to do. One of my most memorable moments, I think there are two, really. Uh, and it was funny because right at the beginning and right at the end of my time here at Governor State, the first one, I remember as soon as I got here, the first class I took, the professor said, I'm going to do uh, tour to Italy, uh, an art exhibit, well not an exhibit, an art tour through Italy with students. So if you're interested, sign up. So I was so excited. I signed up for it. I didn't know if I could afford it. I went to financial aid. They helped me out with the paperwork. I don't remember how, but it, I actually went uh, the, my second semester at the Governor State. So that was amazing. You know, I had never been to Europe and been able to go with the art historian here from Governor State who took us by the hand pretty much almost uh, all through Italy and showed us the culture and it was just an amazing experience I will never forget. So that was right at the beginning. At the end, being able to give the commencement speech from the student side, from the student body, that was also kind of a nice way to say goodbye to an institution that gave a lot to me. What I said at the commencements are words that I live by, which was, uh, you know, I didn't want to quote a former president, a former governor, you know, any public official in that manner. So I, I quoted a uh, carpenter, uh, his name is, was Jesus, uh, who said, you know, 
love your neighbor as yourself. And when you live like that, giving to other people, to living in community, I think you make a big difference in the world. I think one of the most impactful things of my experience here at Governor State uh, was the fact that it gave me the confidence that when I left Governor State University, I continue uh, that life experience that I took from here and applied it to the real world. For example, while I was here, um, the professors gave me the confidence to start things. So I started a club and um, I worked with the Latino club as well here at Governor State. We established a scholarship for Latino students while I was here. And all these tools to work with community and people, those are the tools that I took out in the real world and started to do the same thing, working with community. I opened my own art gallery as an artist, kind of gave me a lot of tools of knowing how to work with people and apply them in the real world scenario. Because I think at the end of the day, a good education is one that allows you to apply what you learn in a real world and make a difference in the real world. So it doesn't just stay in your head and your brain, but it's actually something that you can actually do and live by day by day. As an artist, I'm inspired by people and by uh, life itself. I always say that my art is about understanding the cycle of life from birth to death. What does that mean? Uh, and for that, I like to reference this feeling of when you are sitting in a room by yourself, maybe you're working on the computer or doing something, and then somebody walks in the room behind you. You don't know, but you feel that presence. You turn around, you look at, oh, wait a minute. You know, I didn't know you were here. Uh, that feeling, you know, that, that presence. So my work is about understanding that uniqueness, that presence as, that we have, that we carry as individuals and through our life cycle. My philosophy is closely related to community and working with people. So what I experienced here at Governor State and what I took from what I experienced here and applied outside in the world was working with people in community. You know, I don't see myself as an isolated artist. I don't think I could do it. Uh, I've always worked with people. I've always believed that that's really at the end of the day what matters. You know, the work that you see behind me or that you see in galleries or museums, it's, it's work that's produced in the studio, but it's the result of my experiences of working with people. Some of the projects that I'm involved in right now is, as I mentioned earlier, I have a gallery that I actually opened a few years after I came to Governor State University. It's called 33 Contemporary Gallery. We've been now open since 2004. And so through that gallery, I show the work of artists local, national, and international. I'm also the curator for the Joby Art Center, which is in the south side of Chicago. And I also get a chance to work with a lot of artists. And a newer project, which is called Our Next Level, it's an educational uh, project, uh, online-based, community-based for artists from around the world to give them the tools and resources that they need to run a successful career. And that's kind of what I do in terms of uh, you know, working with the art community. In terms of my own studio, I'm really excited because next year I'll be part of a, an exhibition tour, a solo exhibition that's going to Mexico uh, two museums in Mexico, the Museum of uh, the City of Querétaro, then the Museum of the City of Cuernavaca, and then ends in Mexico City. So that's a Mexico tour, and then I have a tour that goes through Europe, through Romania, and Italy. So it's like two different uh, museum exhibitions going in two different continents. So it's, it's, I'm pretty excited about that. Throughout my time here at Governor State University, you know, it was this idea of building confidence along the, the way that has helped me now to do what I do. I don't recall a specific event, but rather smaller moments. And I think that for me, that's what's important. That that's how I think we grow. Sometimes it's not that this big thing that marks your life, but sometimes it's those insignificant, that may seem insignificant at the moment, little moments, you know, when the professor comes to you and gives you a chance to do something that you thought you couldn't do at the, at the beginning. Uh, when the professor gives you a tool that you, you know, it's letting you grow. Uh, you might not see at the moment the, the benefit of that, but then later on I can look back and say, well, you know, really my professors helped me out to be and to do what I do because they gave me that chance to, to try, to fail, and to grow at the same time. And I think those are the, the key moments for me that had really the biggest influence of my time at Governor State to what I am now. And another really fun fact is that uh, I met my wife here at Governor State University, <laughs> and that was, I left Mary when I left uh, uh, Governor State, yes.
I would like to say that, you know, for, for anyone who's considering Governor State as a place where they can come and grow and, and start their future, I believe that it's a really good university um, that sometimes doesn't get the credit that it deserves because it's outside of Chicago, uh, in the middle of the cornfields. But that is a great thing. There's a great community here. There's a great, stu a great a student body. There's great support. And I do say that because I believe it. I'm, even though I graduated in 1999, I left, I come back. You know, I come back to see the art department. And I have friends here. And I come to support sometimes the uh, art exhibits that some other students have here. And that's part of the community that you don't see very often in many other places. So it's that sense of, of rudeness that you create in a place that when you come back years later you don't feel like a stranger so that you came back home again and I think uh, you know if you are on the fence I think that's something that you should look at.